What's up, everybody? I am on tour, and I got a lot of new cities, so hear me out right now. I want to see you guys. Right now, uh, we are playing West Palm Beach Improv this weekend. We added a fourth show on Sunday. Uh, that is on sale right this second. Also... Right now, pre-sale as of right this second for San Diego, Los Angeles, Burlington, Vermont. Uh, a second show added at Foxwoods, Connecticut. Detroit, Pittsburgh, Albany, Madison, Chicago. I'm coming to your city. All those tickets are on sale right now in pre-sale on my website at salvocanocomedy.com. Use promo code God bless one word. And then after that, me and Chrissy D will be in Dallas, San Antonio, Houston, St. Louis, Columbus, and Cincinnati the week after Christmas. And Des Moines, Indianapolis, Cleveland, uh, Washington, D.C. All of you guys on sale already right now at SavoCanoComedy.com. It's going to be great. Come, I'll kiss you on the lips. God bless. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say, hey, babe. So, so no, no one, one told you life was gonna be, hey babe. What's up, babe? What's up, babe? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Round pillows. Oh, we heard the cries. Yes. I didn't realize they existed. Someone blew. I mean, I thought they existed, but not like somebody. I guess I knew they existed, but I never thought to buy them. I don't really love them round, but uh, like yeah. This. Nothing's gonna nothing, nothing, dude. Nothing's gonna change my love, love for you. you. You just moved off Four Corners Road. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. There baby. will never be another tuck. That's it. There will never, never be you guys who didn't like me obsessing over the tucks, you'll never get it back. That's it. Now well, you're gonna miss it because it's gone. Because it's gone. Well, maybe I was gonna say, maybe one of the episodes we'll do, we'll just, uh, well, it'll be co uh, corners like you can't imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corners all day, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, first of all, I want to, uh, I had this morning, shout out to Donato, my buddy Donato, who got me three pillows for my birthday. I saw, you look I was, your mic, that mic, that's absurd. That's, that's absurd. I can't even do it. I saw, I was here, I witnessed Donato giving you these pillows and the joy and laughter you had while you were drunk in the kitchen at 3 p.m. <laughs> Right before we went to the Halloween parade. That's right. That was on Old Hollow's Eve. Yes. Yeah, see, everybody, see, a couple of things, by the way. Shout out our fans. Shout out us being silly is two things happened. One, we were very confused as to why nobody was wearing costumes at our Durham, North Carolina show <laughs> because we realized that episode came out after Durham, North Carolina. So the people who went to the Durham, North Carolina show were probably like, I would have worn a costume had I known. Secondly, we also said on the podcast that we were going to be wearing Mr. Robot costumes out, and uh, at the Halloween parade. So there might have been people looking for Mr. Robots, but instead we wore Batman. That's right. So we did a lot of switcheroos and apologize. We did a switcheroo. So we had said on the podcast, everyone coming to the dorm dorm show on 1029 wear costumes mm -hmm. we're like wear them it'll be crazy we'll pull you up on stage we'll have a contest right yeah so we go out in dorm yes a couple thousand people we get out there at the end of the show we turn up the lights and we're like let's get these costumes on stage yes and one like one girl was in like a like a robin mask yeah yeah like it was like nobody had one one person was there wearing antlers or nobody like cared out of two thousand people so we're like so we turn up the lights we're like all right let's see those costumes yeah and then everybody just like kind of was like looking at us and i'm like oh if you're wearing a costume stand up yeah and then like f four people maybe three? four people out of Not maybe two thousand yeah, people yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and i think that like and they weren't even like all out costumes it was <laughs> like like i said it was it was nothing right it was like an afterthought like right. those are just probably just fun people we what? didn't realize though. Right. We just we, we were like, all right, I guess this is not going to work. This big this costume thing we had planned. Here's the only way to rectify it. Why don't? Because we're co-headlining together December 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31 in Texas, Missouri, and Ohio. But why well, don't boom. why don't we pick one of those shows? Or or should we just ask all five? Of, oh, if you're coming to any of those shows, yeah, wear a costume. How about everyone just comes as Santa? Why don't we do that? If any of you're coming to any one of those shows, whether it be in Dallas, Houston, Sugarland, Texas, St. Louis, Missouri, Cincinnati, Ohio, or Columbus, Ohio, 
dress as Santa to one of those shows. We will pick the best Santa yeah, and, and bring them on stage. That's right. And maybe we'll, should we get like a $25 Lowe's gift card or something? We're going to get a $25 <laughs> Lowe's gift card and the best Santa comes up on stage on a chair and then me and Sal will sit on your lap and we'll tell you what uh, we want for Christmas. Boom. That's what it is. So if you now, want this me- has to air before then. <laughs> yes. Make sure that this one comes out. Yeah, that was my fault. Sorry. Guys. Yeah. No, but we, nope. didn't, but we didn't know. We flew home that weekend. Like that was wonderful, but man, they didn't get on board. They, and yeah. then like we didn't talk to him and then like a week later pimp's like oh you know the, the, the episode where you asked them to wear costumes is coming out this week yeah and we were on stage going what's going on here people yeah we're like why did you not come in costume they must have thought we were lunatics well, i actually no. pushed the island boy one up i just couldn't help it well <laughs> yeah, it was really but you know what though fault. honestly i kind of feel like that was an executive decision you made which we appreciate because the island boys came out at the right time oh, yeah the island boys needed to come out when it came out yeah because now everyone's all over those Everyone. island boys now did you see pimp also put up to set a video to our group chat that i want to put on the podcast right now is, is the is the little people saying dressing up as island boys doing it in a sink yeah which was shout out shout out to little people who did this who sat in a sink i mean it was pretty funny i mean you might people you guys may have seen this already but i mean this is this puts our island boy bits to shame yeah. island boy, just trying to make it. and this kind of does island look like boy, me and sal as little people <laughs> I love that they're wearing jeans. Yeah, I love. I know. So, shout out. In a sink is funny. Yeah, shout it out. Um, you guys are funny. So yeah. So um, and yeah, babe. So so Halloween too. First of all, I had. We were, I gotta be honest. We were drunk with you. before we left the house. Drunk before we left the house on the ferry. I'm gonna be honest with you. Probably the most fun I've had in years of anything in my life. Really? Was at that Halloween parade oh, walking that with, makes me so what happy. were there, 17 of us? 17 bat Walking as full Batman. Yes. And women. Yes. And babies. Yes. And people were taking pictures. What I think the funniest thing was is, I don't know if you were too in front, but I know Pimp saw this. We had an in. I think one of a friend of a friend was a police officer working the Correct. parade, led us in through a, a special barricade. Yeah. 17 of the Batman yes. walked in and then the officer said, you cut off that barricade at that last Batman. You cut it off. Not a single person can be let in after that. Slams the barricade after me. I was the 17th Batman and then slams the barricade on award-winning actor Lee Schreiber Lev. and his family. Legitimately, Lev Lee, Schreiber, yeah. Lev Schreiber. Lev. Lev. Lev, Lev Schreiber was directly behind us with his entire family on a bicycle and got shut out for 17 Batman from Staten Island. That's hysterical. So it was, and to see the look on his face, I mean, this guy's an Academy Award yeah, nominee yeah, at least. Yeah. And then I saw him and I was like, oh my God. And I told a cop, I was like, you got to let him in. That's Liev Schreiber. Or whatever. Yeah. And they went and they let him in, but they didn't like, he had to like talk him yeah. and they finally let him in. And then me, I'm such a nerd. I watch architectural digest videos on YouTube. As we all do. Yeah. And uh, he has, uh, two episodes and one is like an open door of his like his first condo he ever bought right and i've seen it multiple times it's like six years old or whatever and i just went up to him like huge fan like he's like thanks so much and i go i love and I, I had my bat mask on so and i go i love your architectural digest episode and what did he say he was like oh wow <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome he's a cool guy Liv <laughs> like, i know where you live and what it looks like also a guy i think he's been a boxer almost his whole life like almost like borderline could be as good of a prof he could have been a professional boxer if not an actor so we'll absolutely beat the piss out of you if you ever get in his face he's such a cool guy yeah ray donovan i know ray donovan but he has but he's, he's very poised and has a lot of composure very because you know he's a smooth talking fellow because i would have snapped if i was him you know i mean i get cut off by 17 batman from staten was, island what was it was he like et why was he on a bicycle i don't know why he was on a bicycle <laughs> i actually don't only know why he was on, was on the bicycle only him. his family was walking <laughs> oh yeah only him only he was on the bicycle and i always forget he was in scream i I always he's cotton weary i always forget he's cotton weary i yeah. always 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 forget um but it's yeah, so, so funny that people attach him to scream because unless i'm forgetting like a sequel that he was in he was just in like no lines he he was <laughs> he was in like a, a video of the news on the news yes of the police taking him in in cuffs yeah he was in like a clip yeah like and but it, it, it was such and, a and big people movie. like oh he's in scream but he's like not really, it, though. It was 25 years ago, and he was in 10 seconds of it, I think. So, so I think... 
What's up? I'm in Phoenix, Arizona this Thursday to Saturday. It's going to be a hell of a time. Then December 17th to the 18th, West Palm Beach, Florida. Then December 26th to the 31st, co-headlining with Sal Volcano. We got Texas, Missouri, Ohio. And then January, Chrissy Theater starts. Find your city. All tickets at chrisdcomedy.com. I think that... um, that like it was the most fun I've had dancing, you were throwing candies walking, throwing into the crowd, candy, having so much fun. Even Joe DeRosa was there, and I still managed to have fun. That's right. Even though he was the only one that didn't show up in the Batman costume. Oh, let's give him DeRosa. DeRosa says, first DeRosa says, "I don't want to be Batman." Then he says, "I don't know why we're friends with him." Fine, honestly. I'll be ba- <laughs> fine. I'll be Batman. But he only wears the cowl and the cape with denim jeans and a black T-shirt. What so he has sixteen Batman, full blown. Yeah. Full and then blown AIDS. One bat, yeah. And then he's <laughs> he's just HIV positive. HIV pause. Shout out everyone who's HIV pause. God bless you. Shout out heart medicine. Shout out. Shout out all that. Shout out positivity. Shout out positivity. Yeah. Um. Shout out prep. So so um, most fun I've had. Um, marching bands. Oh, DJs. The gays like, know how to party. Is what oh, I'll yeah, say. Yeah. The gay community. Uh, who throws a better party than the members of the gay community? Maybe only Diddy. Maybe Diddy. Yeah. That's it. Diddy knows how to party. Yeah. That's it. But honestly, the gay- It's neck and neck gays and ditties. I mean, the floats that were going by, you know, mostly gay men and women were going by, the party that was on that float, we need to get a float next year for that parade. I'm, I'm going to look into it because I, I think you're allowed to do it as long as you go through the proper channels. Whatever it takes, whatever <laughs> it costs. And we're getting every gay friend we have on that thing. Every we'll gay be friend. Batman and the gays. And we'll get we'll Lev Schreiber. We'll beat Diddy at his own game. 100%. <laughs> and guess who's coming on? Lev Schreiber with yeah, his bike and his family. We'll invite him. Yeah. yeah he'll, 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 we'll tie the flow to, the, to his bike yeah. and he'll cycle us through. Now, one of the funniest <laughs> bits, one of the funniest bits that we had, here's, here's some pictures. For, well, these are all Pimp's photos, huh? Yeah, yeah. Dude, what Pimp, a fun you time. you documented the shit out of Pimp that is, thing. I mean, he awesome. sent me, within the next day, he sent me a Dropbox with 400 photos no, in Pimp, it. I was like, oh my God. Pimp had a full had a full documentary ready to go for Netflix <laughs> uh, the next day. <laughs> and Pimp, you, in full costume, you photographed full costume. the whole thing in costume. Of Dude, course. Pimp Pimp had a, uh, he filmed Ari Shafir peeing into a bottle underneath his Batman suit. Yeah. I mean, you filmed Ari committing a crime. We should hold that over Ari's head and blackmail him because, I mean, we have evidence that he urinated in pubs. I mean, Rogan already <laughs> played it on his podcast. Oh, he did? All right. So the little Ari, bit bigger Ari than Ari said he'd come on and hang out and discuss if he wanted to. He's around. Oh, yeah. um, a lot of, we saw a lot of uh, COVID needle, COVID mm. vaccine card costumes, which, you know, it's. It, I think it's a good idea in theory, but it's it's a little hack now. It's like, we're all, we get it. it Everybody did. I think 17 Batman was original. I oh, think yeah. so too. I think it was original. And I kept telling the cops, we got this. Yeah. Every time we walked past something, I'm like, we'll be on the lookout tonight. Yeah. They all appreciate <laughs> it. They all appreciate that. They all have their hands on their guns. Like, <laughs> just take one more step. You, you, know, you know who we didn't see? We didn't see any Island Boys. We didn't see any Island Boys. It's a very right? good We thought point. it was going to be the thing. Yeah, we didn't see any Island Boys. Um, I I got really drunk too because in our um, little tool belt things we had bottles of. You planned it out right. Uh, we planned it out right. You planned it out right. Sal does a great. Sal plans parties so well and is so good at partying that I think it pushes you over the line and you are gay. I think there's only a gay brain can do what you do. The party mode in me is is, gay. is a gay man. Um, Ar- I will give Ari the credit for the mini bottles in the utility belt. Ari Shafir gay. Yeah. <laughs> but we I'm got, gay, yeah. we had all the candy ready. Yeah. We had our own, uh, we had a, we met at a meeting place. We all had bat dinner first. You, right? you planned it out. You planned it out. Great. And, I, and you're a veteran. You've done it before. We attacked the Joker. Um, yes, we attacked him. We attacked the Joker. And then we which found is, the one blue Batman. Yes, and he was like our a leader. 1960s Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I honestly think, like, I can't imagine not doing it again. Like, I, it's just something that, like, you know, I want to constantly do every year. I know. I, I had done it eight years running, and it's this was the first time I did it in 10 years. Wow. So wow. why'd you take 10 years off? Because um, they're too busy with the show? Yeah, I used to do it at, with the bar and friends from local friends and everything, and now... I'm always on the road and I'm not, I'm not with that community anymore. And right. a lot of people are just married, kids moved away, all that stuff. So I needed a good core group, but we got it. So next year, we, uh, we'll, our goal is to, to add to it, but just by invite only. Invite only. Not and like we, posting anything. And we'll always be masked. It'll never oh, be. We will always be anonymous. Anonymous. So always be anonymous. I say next year, you know what we do next year? We go as Kim Kardashian with the black spandex outfit. Oh my God. That's what we go as Kim How Kardashian. How do we breathe and see through that? We'll thing. find a way. Does she really believe that that outfit... 
a lot of couture fashion, like a lot of the Mecca, it's not meant to be taken seriously. Is that correct? Like nobody is really, that outfit is not functional. What, the one where she was zipped up like a gimp, right? Right. Like that's just look at, look, like, that's just stirring the pot and yeah. being relevant and staying in the conversation and right. being like, a, you know, an icon who does, you know, it's like when Lady Gaga wore beef. Yeah. yeah. It's just what, it's just what yeah, it but, is. But, 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 but. What, but then what do you do? You get in. What'd she do? She got in and she unzipped it before she ate her salad? I guess, yeah. I guess it's the only... I mean, listen. I know how hard it was to take a pee-pee wearing this Batman costume. I could imagine when you have a full zip-up spandex suit, you're not peeping very much. How is she breathing and seeing out of that thing? I don't know. But I know that, that it's in contention, I think, for next year's outfit. That's great. Let's get Kim and Pete on the podcast. Should we oh get them on Hey Babe? Oh, my God. Ooh. Yes, please. Um, Let's get them on. I I think um I think yeah it was the most fun and then I woke up the next day as at, because here's what it is being Catholic is you always know when there's a lot of positive happening you always feel like impending doom because you know you're a sinner and you whip yourself that's what Catholics do so I woke up the next morning with a 101 degree fever and full pus on the tonsil strep throat I mean oh that's a, right you got a no, strep a no doubt about it strep throat 101 point five almost borderline 102 degree fever I mean woke up with wow. the night of my life thinking I have a hangover and no sir no sorry Bob woke up this morning got yourself a strep got myself a strep <laughs> yeah yeah, I had the streptococcalocalus. Now, have you ever done the Thanksgiving parade? I don't understand it as much. I have. I haven't marched in it. That's not like the village one, but I, I did uh, late teens. You can't march in it. Right? It's freezing just... cold, but it's it's cool. It is kind of cool. You like that one too? Um, I, I, you know, and ever since then, not only have I not gone again, but I'm never up in time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, should we but, go this year? I, but I really actually want to rekindle my relationship with that parade. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because it's, I love anything that gets you in the spirit. Santa, Santa's you know always I mean? at the end of that parade. I'm rocking Christmas music now. I mean, you put it on now? Most people are. The neighbors across the street from my house. November 1. I mean, this is coming out. Close to Thanksgiving. What are you guys doing for yeah, 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 Thanksgiving? Yeah. Oh, I just rock it. I get it. When, when when the holiday season comes, I usually only listen to like Stern or Jazz in the car. I don't listen to radio. That's my whole life. Right. But when the holiday season comes, 106.7 or the, or the holiday channels on Sirius, I, just I mean, throw it, boom, right In my on. opinion, you Christmas know, all day. In Two sync, hour drive, Christmas. Wow. In sync, Merry Christmas and, uh, uh, Mary, Mariah Carey, Merry Christmas song, in my opinion, two best. Yeah. I don't, in, in Sync's one, which is... Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, happy holiday. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful feeling. Merry Christmas, happy Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's that's, that's Sync? That's in Sync? That's, that's not, not NKOTB? Because they have one, too. No, it's in Sync. It's in Sync. <laughs> but NKOTB has a, has, a, has a... New Kids has a, a very popular... Uh, I don't know Christmas their song. One. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, new Kids on the Block Christmas. Let me see a pen. New Kids on the Block had a <laughs> bunch, bunch of hits. Chinese, Chinese food makes me sick. And I think it's fly when girls, girls stop, stop by. by for the funky, sun. funky Christmas. Funky, funky Christmas. That's it. Gonna have a funky, funky Christmas. Um. So, so let me ask you this for Thanksgiving. Oh, by the way, much like Batman that night, I turned around and you were gone. Oh, gone. Yeah. Well, because what happened was- No, you, I, would play, you, were, you were like meta. I was, yeah, I had the bat signal. The bat signal actually came as a text from my mother and said, get your ass home. Your daughter's been hysterical crying since 6 p.m. So we got, never in my life, by the way, I called a, 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 an Uber. I'm talking about press, you know, Uber, send it. It said, finding your ride. Said, ride found, and then gave me the five-minute warning. Where I, I was on the corner. We were on the corner of 17th Street and Union Park Square. Avenue. Yeah. Or Union Square. Yeah. 17th, the, the car was on 17th Street in Union Square. It, it had just dropped somebody off and immediately picked me up. Wow. Like you almost like got it like you're passing a baton. Yeah, it was, in, it was insane. Even the Uber driver turned around to us and said, I've ne it's never happened that quickly. That must have been like winning the lottery or getting hit by lightning because on a night like... On a night like with all Halloween, the road closures and everything, the road closures, the drunk people, no one's driving, the just a, a mass amount of people in the streets, the traffic. Yeah, like we couldn't even, I couldn't even get one late that night for like a half hour. Yeah, no, and it's funny as the baby was hysterical, crying allegedly for the whole time we were gone. Allegedly. As soon as we walked into the house, <laughs> the baby Violet stopped, looked at Jasmine, her mother, looked, stopped crying. My mother gave her the baby. Violet immediately threw up all over Jasmine's Batman suit. No I mean, way. immediate full projectile Luckily, baby puke. The, the, uh, the suit's, suit's impenetrable. 
It's impenetrable. Yeah. yeah. So it didn't. So it just Violet, yeah. Violet was thwarted. Thwarted. Yeah, yeah. So she tried. She tried to get us. She couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. So. Yeah. And I mean, speaking of kids, I mean, baby, can I just tell you? I mean, the night, the night I'm coming off of. Yeah. Bubs. Yeah. You woke, look like you got a little something behind the eyes. Yeah. Bubs. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Was awoken. Tell me, sweets. First of all, this is this is what's going on in the house right now. Yeah. We got we got three kids. Right. Yeah. We got two adults. We got. One kid, the 11-year-old with diarrhea. We got the middle kid, six years old, with a pus bubble infection in her back wisdom tooth. Okay? Then we got the baby, the four-month-old, with a head cold that every time you put her down in the bassinet to sleep, she thinks she can't breathe, screaming, crying, throwing her legs up, and just puts one arm up. That's just how she moves. Two legs up, one arm. Right. We have mom, 101 degree fever. No. Right now. And we have me... Who feels very fat and out of shape from eating too many bacon, egg, and cheeses right. and muffins? Well, don't so, discount that though. That's that's a real feeling too. Absolutely. Just because just because you're not wailing or nothing's actually. Yeah, just because I don't have diarrhea and pus coming yeah. out of my teeth and a fever doesn't mean I don't feel bad. Right. Exactly. Don't internalize that. Let that out. Let that out. Yeah, that's like the diarrhea of feelings. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, we fall. Finally, everybody, the whole family gets to sleep. It was about ten o'clock last night. Whole family gets to sleep like that, like a snap of a finger. One thirty in the morning, we got Violet hysterical crying because she feels like she can't breathe just snarling boogers coming out we have delilah the six-year-old run into the room blood coming out of her mouth like i was like it almost looked like she ate one of those like blood capsules you see yeah. in the movie like yeah. foaming from the mouth like i was like is this a joke we have jasmine get awoken she wakes up she goes i feel like i just got hit by a truck i think i have covid i was like perfect then I'm like, okay, I can deal with this. Then the 11 year old, Tristan, my stepson, the diary was too much. Comes in, no, no, no. <laughs> you're like, I got this under control, and he was like, Bleh. no, but like, no. But it wasn't even that. It was no, no, no. It was a situation where it was, I, I have diarrhea dripping down my leg. Oh, I, I, wow. I, I, I mean, I, I got a fully active. You got a full house. You're like Bob Saget. Yeah, I said, well, here we go. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. I said, where's the camera? Am yeah. I in America's Funniest yeah. Some videos right now. You had blood and diarrhea coming at you. Blood, diarrhea, fevers, congestion. Yeah. So wow. I, I said, it was one of those things where I, I, I just sat up. Calgon, take you away. Do you yeah. remember that? No, no. No. It's an old ad from when we were younger. When I was younger. Well, Calgon, take me away. It's like when you can't handle it anymore. Can't. I, I forgot what Calgon is, though. Hit me up. Calgon, that. Chrissy Calgon. Yeah. So I. I How I, did you. What did you do? So I, I, what was your role? So it was what. So one of those things, because here's the thing. From nature. I'll let you I don't want to. I don't want to get. I don't want to see the Calgon. I don't want to not be able to monetize, though. It's a no, no. I'm not playing the video. It's uh, a bath powder. Yeah, it is. Calgon's a bath it's a powder. soothing bath powder, which which absolutely have we've research has shown gives you cancer. So Calgon bath powder probably involved. I would think in many lawsuits because all types of baby powder now have been like no bueno. You got to buy cornstarch, yes. not talc. That's what it is. Yeah, you make that pivot. Yeah, I might get. I, if, if the other one is that bad for that long, I've been throwing baby powder on me since I'm a baby. Honestly, I don't do baby powder anymore. And if I don't have any cornstarch, I throw domino sugar right down there. I just throw right. domino <laughs> sugar. Just white powder. White powder. Whatever yeah. it is, it's going to be fine. Okay. Wait, what does that do for you, the baby? I don't get it. It what just keeps up, your uh, silky smooth. Silky smooth. So when babies have a rash or when you have any type of rash, diaper rash or adult rash, the baby powder kind of keeps it. Um, I think it keeps it it's dry. It's soothing. It keeps you dry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it smells good. So nice, really yeah, it's 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 uh, yeah. It's, I think it's really what it does. It keeps you dry. It's always yeah, keeps but you dry. It, which uh, I guess I just, every relationship I've been in, every girl's just on baby powder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so um, <laughs> so so I. You've so, been having issues with Johnson and Johnson since before the COVID. Since before the vaccine, yeah, I've had yeah. problems with Johnson and Johnson. And you know what? How you know crazy this even goes deeper than that. My grandmother. Before she dated and, and married, eventually married my grandfather. When my grandmother was like 16 years old, was allegedly went on a few dates with, I believe, whoever went on to become Johnson of and Johnson and Johnson or the heir to Johnson and Johnson. Something with Johnson and really? Johnson that my grandmother like, picked a sanitation worker over. Oh my God. Shout out no. to sanitation workers. Yeah, my dad. Yeah, shout out to your dad. <laughs> but literally, it could have been either the heiress to Johnson and Johnson that's, or. That's not even rich. That's. Wealth. Wealth, yeah. It's generational yes. wealth. She said Johnson and Johnson or let's live in a three floor walk up in Queens. So right. we live in Queens. <laughs> right. So But now now who's having the last laugh with all the Johnson and Johnson? Exactly. Your grandmother you know and the sanitation guy. Exactly. And Queens the borough. Yeah, because who's picking up the garbage? Yeah. So I just sat down on the bed and I said, I, I had to like just take a moment. Like because I mean the kids were crying. Everybody, you know, I'm she's You're like, go tested. down, make the food. You're being tested. I'm being tested. The so devil's I, working today. I just shut my eyes. I just shut my eyes and I said, you know what? Just take a moment. 
this is going to be a long night. It's going to be going to a long day. It might even go into a long week. So I and said, you did heroin. Just, right, right. Well, I called betterhelp.com. <laughs> and I used a promo code, hey, babe. And I was talked into, then yeah. I went down and I got some, I went to um, America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh. Yeah. That calmed me down. Yeah. Um, so, no. So what I did was I said, take, do one child at a time. Who needs the most help? I right. said, you got one with diarrhea, one that can't breathe, one with a bleeding mouth, one with a hundred and one degree fever. So I, I think honestly, if I can rank those, yeah, let me see. Let me see how you did it. Okay. Okay. Your what would you do? Okay, your wife is an adult. Full. So adult. I think that first and foremost, you have to concentrate on the kids. Right. So I would probably slot her last because she can take care of herself. She has some type of autonomy. That's what I chose, but it doesn't matter. I just, just, just FYI, she did. I slotted her fourth, but I'm still. Yeah, obviously in the doghouse for that. Okay, because there was some way she wanted me to somehow be able to well, do all. You can't. Th- you can't really. Uh, emotions are different than that. She also needs support. Sure. So you know you can't really. Yeah. Win. I think the diarrhea has to come third. Okay. You know, I mean, it's it's no good. It's ng. Right. No good. You don't want it around. You don't want to be looking at it, smelling it, right. touching it, none of that stuff. And usually if there's some, there's more on the way. Right. So what I did with th- that one, but, FYI, is I threw him right in the shower with his clothes on. Right. <laughs> That's what I did. And then told him to disrobe when he gets, just, just, just wash like, it off. Right. Okay. I said, you're 11 years old. I put the shower on. Just, we got it. Okay. Yeah. But you did that third or you did that first? Third. Oh, you did. So far, you're so far, okay. you're right. Okay, I gotta believe that Violet is the youngest. Yes, and it was a breathing sitch, and so I think she needs comfort, depending on if D Lila was in excruciating pain or just bleeding. She was both bleeding and excruciating pain. Oof. Uh, so what I did is I went one A, one B. I, I I thought I was gonna about to say double doot. Dubbed, double doots. Picked up the babes in the arm. Picked up the babes, gave her a shot of Tylenol with the syringe. I was like Dr. Quinn. I'm sorry, what happened there? With that's, it, the, that's the way you administer Tylenol these days? To the baby, to a four-month-old, yeah. You wait, 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 wait. With a syringe? Drink, you can't drink a cup. You put a needle in your baby? No, no, not a needle. It's um <laughs> uh, the syringe, but no point where um you just... You just you shoot it like down a trach? Shoot it, that's it, little by little. That's the only way you... Kids can't... I mean, she's four months old. She oh, but grab, she sucks on like a bottle? Yes, but you just okay, you just okay. shoot it in. I get it now. You, you just you, basically you, shoot it right down her throat. You're yes, administering yes, see, it. See, see, like that. Wow, that's how you give it to the babes. And you have that on hand. You have it on hand. You have to. Wow. So lit her up. I gave her that. I said, "Let's." You come. hit her with? Did you hit her with a double dose? Maybe just to, nah, just to calm things down. I gave her seven point five mLs. You don't want to fuck around with Tylenol and, okay. and a baby. So I said, "You know what? We're gonna go seven point five mLs as a doctor directed." Um, it said, it said if under, if under six months, stop and ask a doctor. I said, I don't have time to stop and ask a doctor. Right. I'm just, I'm Dr. Quinn medicine woman. I'm just going to do this. Correct. So, so I got, I, 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 I got her. Then the last one is Delilah. Who's literally bleeding from a tooth. Right. So I said, I got the order right though. One, a one B. You did. Yeah. So what I did for her is I gave her some Motrin. Okay. Figured she'll calm down. You know what I had? What saved the effing day? I had from the day before, it was a little hardened, but I had soft serve Carvel ice cream in the refrigerator. So I put that in the microwave, thawed that, gave her a full. <laughs> you thawed it, right? Or you defrosted it? I defrosted it. Yeah. What did I say? De thawed it. De thawed. That's great. Also, uh, yeah. you should address what the cake was for. The cake, we had a Carvel cake because T.T. Jerry, the night before, had passed his, her, they's road test. And it's now a licensed D-class state of New York driver. No way. Full driver. First time ever? First time ever. Full license. Like, does not need anyone's permission to drive do that goddamn car. Do you feel comfortable in the car with Yes, T.T.? We do. 100%. We're actually buying her a car today. The, buying her a car. The funniest part is right after she passed her road test, I was there. Chris had a realization that T.T. is his teenage daughter. Yeah, and she got out of the car. She got out of the road test and said, "When are we getting my car?" Yeah, oh, that's right away. Great. So that's why we had Carvel. So, so, we, so, so I, I, I nuked that. Gave her like pretty much like a milkshake, at and that was like a treat, but also was cold, soothing for Soothes. the tooth. So, the holidays are approaching, and you may be thinking about how you're going to save some extra money. Well, I've got a solution that maybe you haven't thought of. Consolidate your high interest credit card balances to a lower rate and save with Lightstream. 
Uh huh. Lightstream offers credit card consolidation loans with rates starting at 4.98% with auto pay and excellent credit. It's much lower than the national average on credit card rates, which is 19% APR. Plus, your rate is fixed. So, as rates continue to rise, yours won't budge. Light, Lightstream believes that people with good credit deserve a better loan experience, and that's exactly what they deliver. Just for my listeners, just for our listeners now, Go, you're going to get a special uh, interest rate discount and save even more. Lightstreet.com slash hey babe. That's L I G H T S T R E A M dot com slash hey babe. You're going to get a sweet discount. Subject to credit approval, rates range from 4.9% APR to 19.99% APR, include a 0.50% auto pay discount. Lowest rate requires excellent credit. Terms and conditions apply and offers a subject to change without notice. Visit lightstream.com slash hey babe for more information. Yolanda Vega. I am Yolanda Vega. This is probably one of the only days where I'm not wearing Stan Socks. Yeah. And Stan Socks now sponsor the podcast. It is my favorite sock company of all time. I love Stance socks. I truly feel the same. And a tip of my hat to the folks over at Stance. Uh, I got a package with a bunch of socks in it, and I'm just adding it to my collection. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stance yes. socks. I love them. Your feet don't stink in them. I mean, St- will- let, 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 let me tell you a little about Stance. Stance's yeah. premium line of socks, apparel, apparel too, and more. Oh, wow. Always come correct with colorful constructions, innovative materials, and choice fits that are built to last. That is. Totally true, and that is a very accurate sentence. Throw in an all-star curation of A-list collaborators, and those lucky recipients on your holiday nice list have never had it so good. Look, we're all looking for things to buy right now. Yes. Stance is a cool gift that isn't too expensive. How about Bob Marley stance socks? I mean, I open up Bob Marley stance socks for Christmas. I mean, I'm literally kissing whoever gave me that gift on the lips. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. What about Barbie? I want Barbie socks. Oh, kid, it's a Barbie world. I'm a Barbie girl living in it. <laughs> Goonies, The Office, Wu Tang, Wu Tang, the, the Goonies is my lawyer. That's he said right. I'm going to wear socks. And Jill Perkins. <laughs> Who's Jill Perkins? Jill Perkins. He owns a per- uh, Perkins, Perkins family oh. restaurant. It's all right. right. Nice. That's nice. Uh, what stance apparel item do you like or wear the most? Definitely my biggie socks. All right. right? Yes. They're soft. They're comfortable. And I love them. Stance has the perfect gift. For every punk and poet on your list, go see for yourself. It's easy. Just head on over to stance.com, pick out some styles you think they might like, enjoy the color and comfort of a life of a life less ordinary with stance. Miraculously, somehow, they all wound up falling asleep. I wound up getting back into bed, forgot to get the Jasmine her medicine. So went down, got that, got her two Tylenol. She popped them, she popped them. She's I would have used, used a syringe. You would have used a syringe. It seems like fun. It's the only way I administer. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way I administer from now on. Open up like that. Yeah. So she, so then, so then we fell asleep for a little bit. Then we were woken again at six o'clock in the morning because the, the medicine wore off. Now Delilah's, Deli- literally, it looked like in the back of Delilah's mouth, a pocket. It was almost like, you know, like when like at the crust of a pizza, there's like a bubble. Yeah. That's what she had in her mouth. Oh, it, delicious. It, it looked like, I know. I yeah. was like, you look like pizza crust. I was like, I, 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 I want to eat your little face. <laughs> took her to the doctor, took her to the dentist. Okay. Now, the thing to make matters worse, she also had a cold. So I didn't know this. Pediatric dentists, what they do is they give you a little laughing gas. They give a child a little laughing gas. I got oh, perfect segue. Go ahead. Numb it down. They yeah. numb it down, numb it all down. You feel finger, you know, t- tingling in the fingers, blah, 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 blah. Then they put a little whatever, the Novocaine or whatever new things they use to numb the mouth. Yeah. And then they rip a tooth out. They have to rip her tooth out. Okay. Because of the cold, the nu- the uh, laughing gas wouldn't get up to her brain. It was blocked by snot. Wouldn't get up to her brain. Blocked by snot. Blocked by snot. Story. That's our new album. Yeah. Cover. Blocked, blocked by, by snot. That, we're putting our new album, Blocked by <laughs> Snot. Um, no Novocaine. Uh, no, no. She couldn't get the cane. Couldn't get the cane. And then the dentist said to me, he said, listen, I can't inject her mouth with anything because if she moves the needle break off like she i need the laughing gas so she doesn't you know like she needs to like okay i I can't give her a shot because we're adults if you put a needle in my mouth i'm not going to move you put a needle in a six-year-old's mouth she's going to move she needs to be jacked up she needs to be she needs to be laugh she needs to be hysterical laughing right because she needs to be like a freaking hyena you got to be on full laughing gas it's like you got to be it's like you're watching hey babe right you got to be on laughing gas yeah you should have shown her an episode that's what i said i said should i put on hey babe (laughs) (laughs) and so but um they're russian doctors not in the mood so so <laughs> are they ever you know no, never really are they very, ever in the mood? very knowledgeable great i mean i want to sh- i forgot what the dentist office i don't know if i've ever heard a russian laugh uh, no they don't laugh. i think they're just like that is hysterical yes <laughs> laughing gas doesn't work on me but they do a show in russia the whole crowd's like that is hysterical that yeah. is hysterical they we're coming to moscow babe 
They, um, <laughs> by the way, I just want to shout them out. Great dentists. I mean, literally, what they had to do, they take me out. You know, they're, they're calming her down. The head, head lady takes me out. She goes, listen. She goes, here's the situation. The head lady. That lady, the head lady, the head dental lady. <laughs> the head lady at the dentist. Yeah. Was she the dentist? She, I think so. <laughs> the head lady. <laughs> so she goes, imagine I was just in a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody thought they were dentists. The whole entire thing's a fever dream. Yeah. <laughs> she takes me out and she says, I mean, this is an exact quote. She goes, okay, here's the situation. The laughing gas isn't working. My parents want to go on a week's vacation. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. She goes, laughing gas isn't working. She goes, your daughter's got an infected, pretty bad infected tooth. I'm worried That's on the dangerous. placement of where it is. This can go into her bone. It can lead into her brain. This tooth, she said, needed to be out yesterday. She goes, so what we're going to have to do is a little frontier medicine. What the hell? I said it's 2021. I'm on Staten Island. Is that fu- what does that mean? A horse and carriage? That's what medicine? I said. I said, yeah. What, what do we, you mean? A trough? snake oil? Yeah. Like what? What are we talking about? Frontier medicine? Yeah. It's like, do you want me to go, get, go go gather leaves and berries? Yeah. What are we talking about here? Yeah. She goes, I'm gonna have to rip the tooth out of her head with no numbing. So it's gonna be excruciating. Is that legal? Who does that? Russian doctors. Wow. So I said, he's like. She's like, it will be hysterical. It will be hysterical. You know, your daughter will be hysterical. <laughs> hysterical. So I said, there's oh my no God. other way. She said, there's no other way. This is today? This is hours ago. Literally. Oh, my I'm God. Taught, what said, is that have, like as a parent? First of all, the, I mean, I had to hold her down. She was, My daughter was screaming like you can't imagine. I was, no, no, no. I want to be clear. I'm not afraid to admit this. Fully hysterical crying. Oh wow! I mean, crying. Uh, yeah, because like, oh, like yeah. Uh, to watch my little yeah, girl like have yeah. to go through this, oh. and I was like, if that was me, oh. I would be fucking dead. Like, yeah. I'd be like, I can't do. I walked out of a cleaning two weeks ago, out of a dental cleaning. I walked out. I said it on the pod. Yeah. I walked out, and now to get a tooth ripped out in the back of your head that has a pus bubble already around it. Oh, that it's is probably the nerves. It's sensitive. Oh. Oh, ripped it out. That's a, I mean, a toothache is the worst pain, right? Literally. Earache, toothache, something like that. And the angle I had was from right on top of her, right? Like, so I can see everything was happening. They clamped down on it. The doc, dentist had to put her foot on the chair and yank it out like a movie. Like, and it was like that. Like, had it up. My daughter screamed and then went limp. I thought that she passed out. I genuinely, my heart was oh, like. because, yeah, the surge of. But then. Burst of adrenaline came in, gauze pads, bit down, bleeding, drooling, blood everywhere. I'm hysterical crying. The doctor said to me, they go, you need to go go outside, take a break. You need to take a break. This is very traumatizing for everybody. Who but told you? Is the head lady? The head lady. The dental hygienist had a tear coming down her eye. Had a full tear coming down off her eye. I said to the dental hygienist when they took my daughter into another room just to give her some numbing cream. I said, have you ever seen anything like that? She was like, that was the one of the toughest ones I've ever had to deal with. Wow. She said nine times out of ten. When the kid comes in with a uh, congestion in their nose, we send them, we reschedule because right. we need them laughing at But right. your daughter had an abscess, an infection that was getting worse <laughs> by the minute. That tooth needed to, to, to come out. So then um, then uh, they, we gave her Tylenol, we gave her Motrin, the syringes. And honestly, as soon as we got home, she was like running around playing. I bought her LOL dolls, uh, 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 Polly Pockets. I went to ride a field day at CVS. I went down that toy aisle and I got her every toy. I, I think I might have spent a hunch on oh, toys for wow. my daughter. Came back with flowers. See, a hunch at CVS is a lot of toys. A lot of money. <laughs> they, got them, they got them B grade toys. Them B grade toys. Yeah. That yogurts, Carvel. We got Uber Eats, Carvel coming. I mean, we literally, I mean, no school today, no school tomorrow. No school on the weekend, of course. I mean, this girl, she can have literally Queen of the Castle for as long as she wants. If she walked up to you in the house, gave you the finger, was like, fuck you, you wouldn't even say anything to her. I wouldn't care at all. This is I'd your like, you know what? Delilah, I, if you're watching and we know that you are, this is your chance. I de- <laughs> Delilah, daddy deserves it. So <laughs> I'm telling you, literally, never. The, the tra- I, I, I mean, listen, what my daughter went through is, I can't even imagine. So I know this. it's about her, right. but just, you know, me, I, I literally traumatized like you can't imagine to see your daughter. That's right. After watching that, I don't know if I can handle that. Like, if I was a cartel watching, which and we know that there are many car- drug cartels, <laughs> oh, yeah. especially in, in in some of the some of the newer cartels popping up, really are big fans. Thank you, we thank you for the support. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> support is support, no matter how you slice it. No matter how you slice it, and you know we know you slicing up your victims, whatever it is. Yes. So so, but if I if you wanted information from me, 
don't forget about the waterboarding. Forget about correct. Literally, just put the thing in my and say I'm going to rip a tooth out. What do you want to know? Oh, I thought you were going to say <laughs> if you want information from me, forget about waterboarding, whatever. Just God forbid anyone has my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, but then you were like, pull a tooth out of me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, if you just put a clamp on and, and said I'm going to yeah. rip your tooth. I can't even watch scenes in movies that go that go there. Oh. Like sometimes they'll cut someone's finger. Yeah. They'll snap an arm backward or they'll stab someone in the eye or they'll rip their teeth out or something. Yeah. Or take the pliers and rip them. I, I can never watch it. I always turn away. Yeah, no, the, the pain... I think it got to a point for her when when she went limp a little bit. I think it got to a point it. where her brain was like, I can't process yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, like blackout pain. Yeah, but... I had that. They call that blackout pain for a reason. You had blackout pain? I have. What I happened? A couple times. I felt one was... I fell skiing. I didn't know ski. And I and I and it was late in the day, at the end of the day. Dusk? And I would call it dusk, yeah. Approaching dusk. It was approaching dusk. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was getting a little bit um cold out, and so the snow was like kind of icing over a little, and then... It was New Year's Eve 2005 into 2006. Wow. And uh, my friends who all What was skied, the song of the year? Number one song 2005 and 2006. We have to guess. We oh will pull it up. Oh, Lord. I don't even know. That's like- Black that's Eyed like Peas? A, that's like a time that I don't really know what, like what, what was contributed with music. You know? What, what was the number one song in 2006? Showstopper, Danity Kane. <coughs> oh, know. bringing Sexy back, Justin Timberlake. Okay, there you go. Okay. Um, my friends were like, it's the last run of the day. Come up with us. To the higher mountain, and I st stupidly went with them, and it was like a diamond or a black, whatever the black diamond or whatever the hell. Jack, it was. jack of diamonds, double black, yeah. And uh, we we were gonna go down in stages, so go down a little, stop, go down a little, stop, just yeah. so. And, and they were like, "We'll go first, so we'll be waiting for you." So they went down, and then the very first thing I went down, and the only way I know how to stop is to take your feet and point them inward. Sure, it's like a, like plowing. It's yeah. like I don't have enough skill to like do it much else. But when you turn them in to like get snow underneath and to slow down, when it's ice, that trick does not work. Right. So I went down, and it was like you know maybe a, what, what was it five hundred feet that they were waiting for me, and I only gained speed. I only gained. There was a body in motion. Yeah, and I. They were like, stop, stop. And I was like, I can't fucking stop. I zipped past them to the point where I almost couldn't recognize their faces. And then I started screaming, like, because then I knew I wasn't going to stop until I fell. I wasn't going to make it down the hill without falling. So I'm like, I got to do something. In, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I'm like leaning my body, like trying to fall down. But instead I leaned and I went, I careened right. And I was going right at the pillar that holds the, the I was going to Sonny Bono myself. I was going right, you know. The, the, did he the, kill himself? He did. He hit a pillar. He hit a tree. God bless him. God shout, bless. Out, shout out, Sonny Bono. But you, you think he was going the speed you were going at? Nah, he he died. I started uh, online gambling this okay. year for football only. I was dipping a toe. I'm new at it because my friends have been doing it forever, and it's just this. I was like, let me try. I have been intimidated because I don't know the sports terms like parlay and all. Yeah, that yeah, stuff. the vig. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've been listening to the show. It's called BetQL Daily. First of all, it's hilarious. You got this guy, uh, Joe Ostrowski, Joe Giglio, and Aaron Hawksworth. They serve up this wage enter this <laughs> wagertainment is what I've called it. It's 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 wagering entertainment. It's this, almost like watching like Sports Center, but it's like it's all for it, wages. It gives you all the insight on like how to how to <laughs> yeah yeah like no, gambling. Listen, I'm basically I'm, I'm basically gambling. I on literally, I'm stuff. telling you <laughs> today, my daughter had to get a tooth pulled <laughs> yeah, with no numbing salt, no no medication numbing at all. No, no no nothing. She put on we put on <laughs> Pet QL Daily, and she was laughing as. They were ripping the teeth out of her head. That's how good the show was. And then you, she, got, you certainly heard of FanDuel. It's sponsored by FanDuel. And yes. it's a must-listen show for sports bettors and sports fans alike. Uh, pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a listen to it. Because to it. I do do my weekly bets. I do okay. I do okay. okay. But I'm really intrigued. And 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time. You can listen every day, weekdays on Odyssey, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. BetQL Daily presented by FanDuel. It's really freaking awesome. All right. Okay. What would you do if you didn't have high interest loans or credit card debt? What would you do? What would I do? Honestly, if I didn't have high interest loans or credit card debt, I'd probably finally find happiness. You would, right? I think I'd finally find happiness when I've been searching for. I've been on a journey since the time I'm six, seven years old. Well, Chris, 
With Upstart, you can pay off your existing debt quickly and easily and start living your life, really. If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in never-ending cycle of debt with no end in sight. We've all been there. Upstart can help you make the final payment. So you can go ahead. It's the final payment. Wait a uh, second. Is this? Because you just told me that. And I feel like tingling and numbness. Is this happiness? Babe, am I start- feeling happiness because of Upstart? You're, for the potential from Upstart, you're starting to feel it in your loins. What? Is that what the leaking from my penis is? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that's okay. not it. That is okay. not Upstart. Okay. Not all. Okay. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 and $50,000. And rather than looking at the credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment... And credit history to find out a smarter rate for your loan. Okay. (laughs) Upstart's a fast and easy way to pay off your credit card debt with a personal loan all online. Paying off credit card debts, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses. Over a million people have used Upstart to get one. Fix monthly payment with the clear payoff date, okay? Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash heybabe. That's upstart.com slash heybabe. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and what was the other one? And certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash hey, babe. Right. I was going fast. And then I was heading toward the thing, and I was screaming. And people on the the, the lifts were like, drop down. Drop down. I'm like, I freaking can't. And then finally, I just took my ski pole, and I jabbed it in front of me. And it broke, but it made my body. And then I went, fl- my one ski went in. It catapulted me. The ski came off, catapulted me. My whole leg twisted from the ski, catapulted me in the face. I went airborne, slammed down on my face, face first, head first, slid about another hundred feet. <laughs> and then I just was completely nearly unconscious. I couldn't move. My leg uh, blew up because I twisted it and sprained it. It blew up. And I, I had just, I was, I have a picture of it. I have to find it. I, I got to, if you remind me, I have a picture of me when my friend slid down and got to me and I, I was. took a picture of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love this. I was trying to, I was so trying funny. to, I was trying to, dead. <laughs> I was trying to let them know that how much I was really in pain because I knew they were going to come fuck with me and I was, I think I was almost crying and I picked my head out of the ground and I looked up to look at them and I only saw black. I swear to God, I was blinking and I only saw black and then it like flickered and then like I kind of saw them. I was, the pain. Could you walk off on your own power? No, they had to send a stretcher for me. Oh, <laughs> how embarrassing is that? So right? embarrassing, dude. Oh. So they had to send a paramedic with on a snowmobile. Oh yeah. With the stretcher attached to it. Oh my God. So the guy comes up the mountain. Right, and now he's got the sirens going. Everyone now, the all the skiers are stopping around me, and all the people on the lift are like, "Is he okay?" Like people, are, I'm the big news now. And the guy comes, they roll me over. The, my my ankle was blown up, and like we got to put you. So they put me in a stretcher on my back. They tell me I have to keep my hands like this because they don't want it to go, and my hands get like under the blade, like what would going. So they said, "Keep your hands like this." They zip me in a yellow bag. And they zipped me up to here so I couldn't move and my legs were stabilized. But it looked like a body bag. And yeah. I was laying on my back like this. And I had goggles on. <laughs> and then and, and then they like he had to go back down the mountain, through the main area, through the lodge, <laughs> up another mountain to go where the medical area was. So I drove through the entire resort. Everybody there, saw you. And, 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 I, and, I, and I couldn't move. I couldn't move my hands. I couldn't talk. The snowmobile was going. I wasn't next to anybody. My friend said, we'll meet you there. But as I'm driving through all the families i heard look away look away kids were screaming and everything <laughs> look and people, away. Were like, people were like is he dead is he dead i heard this all <laughs> yeah. but it was like almost in the coma <laughs> they got me up there and i was uh, in like a tent it was like a mesh situation i was in like a tent <clears throat> and they had to wrap my leg and put it in like an air cast type of thing and then i could not walk for days actually wow they had to bring me back to the lodge and then in the lodge the entire night i had to sit on a uh uh an office chair with wheels in order to get around. And then oh, I couldn't even drive my own car home. So you couldn't even go back to your room? No, no, I went back to the room. Oh, the lodge is your room? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, we were like 10, 10, 15 people. Bless. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, so I just had, I was in the whole night, I was just in a, in a, in a wheelie chair. And you haven't been skiing since? Uh, I went skiing one time since, like two years ago, and I took lessons this time. Wow. In Vail. Dude, that's why I've never been skiing or snowboarding, and I don't think I ever will go. Not worth it. It's, it's, you know, 
People I think get you gotta hurt get or good killed when you're young. Right. You get good when you're young, like it's instinctual. You know, you learn as a kid. I don't know. Because this kid's whizzing by, and the kids don't use ski poles. Right. And some of them, I'm not joking around. I'm, some of them are three years old. I'm not joking around. They're three years old. The skis are like the size of my foot. The, only, the uh, skis are only that big, and they, I mean, they're just going, they, they whiz past you. Let me ask you this. Do you they think- They whiz Khalifa. Whiz Khalifa. <laughs> Do you think even- an experienced skier wouldn't have been able to stop because of the ice situation. My friends did. They all did. They this. went down and waited for me. They, they were laughing. So man. what do you think I was you like, did oh, wrong? I was like, I'm in so much pain. Oh. I was like crying laughing, you know, because they were laughing and they were photographing me. And I was like, no, no, no. Because at that point, they didn't know. They were like, get up. And I'm like, I can't. Oh, before the medic got there, I thought my leg, I, I couldn't feel my leg. I couldn't feel my leg. You thought your leg flew off. It, it, was, it was so numb. I didn't know if it flew off or it, it was uh, what a compound fracture because it was completely numb. And I was like, my leg, my leg. And I reached out. I was like feeling for my leg. And I just felt it was swollen. But I didn't know because I was in a snowsuit. So I couldn't get it open. You know, to see what right. had actually happened. I was feeling it, and it felt painful. But I was like, I swear to God, I don't know what I'm about to see. My God, it was dude. it was scary. I, and I hate that moment when you get injured and you have to realize. I was you like, ever what? been injured like that, Pip? I, I got headbutt, and <coughs> my whole forehead swelled over my eye. What? What'd yeah. you get headbutted for? You Is were, it headbutt or headbutt? You, you were running in your mouth. Uh, I was. <laughs> I, I ran into someone on a basketball court, uh. and yeah, I couldn't. I got, I was so concussed. It took like four people to hold me back from driving my car to the hospital. Oh, yeah. And I don't remember days. Wow. wow. My grandfather, um, my mom's dad, who since passed, my grandpa Tony. R.I.P. He had a, uh, my whole life, because it happened when he was young, in his on his forehead, picture the size of a golf ball. Okay. Right? And then picture like you can push ha almost half the golf ball into your skull. So he had an indentation, like maybe, a, like maybe, a, maybe a third of a golf ball, but the size of it, right here on his head, permanently. Yeah, it wasn't like unsightly. It kind of like just blended in a little. So when my mother was little, they were at a public pool, and my grandfather was in the pool, and someone jumped off the diving board, and when they came down, the heel of their foot hit oh. him in the head, literally fractured his skull. Oh. They had to be, he had to be rescued out of the pool, and then. He lived till 96, and his whole life he had a, he had a oh dent in his head. a huge God. dent in his freaking yeah. head. Can you believe? Yikes. Have That's you guys wild. ever cracked your head? Uh, no. I've hit my head. I haven't, like, I haven't like cr cracked anything proper. I haven't cr I've never, That was like, my mom's big yelling when we were little. That was her big thing. She always said that. Stop. We would jump and plant. She goes, stop, you're going to crack your head. Yeah, crack your <laughs> head. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Yeah. Jumping out of bed, you're going to crack your head. Ronnie, you're going to crack your head. Yeah. Ronnie, she goes, be careful. You crack your head on the uh, thermostat. <laughs> on, the, on the, what the hell is that thing? The radiator? The radiator. Yeah, you're going to crack my head on. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, you're going to crack. <laughs> <laughs> crack your head and then also poke your eye out with that yeah, thing. Poke you're gonna your, poke your yeah, eye and you're gonna crack your head. You want it with sizz? Yeah. Or, or, or lollipop? Anything. You're gonna crack your head yeah. open. My mom says it now, and we're like, Mom, no one, the, the track record is impeccable. I don't no know one anyone. cracked their head. Nobody. Stop will. willing it. Yeah, you. nobody's cracking their head open. <laughs> one day, someone's gonna be there like a <laughs> Dumpty Dumpty. My mom's gonna be like, ha ha! <laughs> crack your head! <laughs> um, yeah, man. I, 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 the only. Pain. I mean, I've sprained both my ankles a lot, but as far as like pain, 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 the worst pain I ever was in was when I had mono. You ever have mono? Oh, thank jeez, no. Dude, mononucleosis, shout out the Epstein-Barr virus, yeah. which is with you for life. Shout out fatigue. Shout it fatigues you for life. <laughs> yeah. Literally, my life is different since I had mono. The yeah. Epstein-Barr virus, which did. I heard that from everyone who's had it. You get, I'm tired all the time. It's wild. Wild, dude. It just And there's nothing that, you can't correct it? The Epstein Bar, it's in me right now. Why is it called Epstein Bar? It's a fun name, though. I have no Isn't idea. Is it a fun name? It is a fun name. Epstein Ep Bar, Pimpy? Can we get some on it? Let's Jeffrey see how he Epstein spells this. Jeffrey Epstein Bar. <laughs> yeah. Had a baby and it's the virus. <laughs> yeah. So, about the Epstein Bar. I, I guess yeah. it's like the guy who discovered Oh, it's a herpes virus. So, I discovered. do have herpes. There you wow. go. Wow. It's a human herpes virus. Uh, is a member of the herpes virus family. Okay, it's a member of the family. It's not. It's not. The, it's not the bad herpes, but right. It's the cousin who almost made something of himself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Comparatively, but I had it when I was eleven. So and you and you're fatigued now at thirty six. I'm exhausted right now from from Epstein Bar. Wow. Yeah. How'd you do? You, do you, were you able to pinpoint who you got it from or no? No, no. They said that it is known as the kissing disease, yeah, but, but I had not, not even kissed a girl yet in my right. life. Then it was from sharing water bottles. Uh. at you basketball. kissed a girl and when you, you liked, liked it. it. You You've got, got that Epstein bar. bar virus. So, so, um, uh, 
But that was because your lymph, my lymph nodes, I remember my lymph nodes being so swollen that when I would spit, it was black. Uh, like I was spitting charcoal. Like black lung? Yeah, and I didn't eat for 10 days or something like that or eight days, and I was starting to get lightheaded and numb. I could only eat farina. Uh, and that's highly contagious, right? You're not allowed in school for like a month no, or something? No, no, no. And you know what happened? You're getting homeschooled for a month? No, what happened was no homeschool. You know what happened is the eighth grade, it was, I was in eighth grade, so I'm sorry, I was 13. Eighth grade class, I got mono and I want to say May. From September to May, we had had a perfect attendance record. Every student perfect. Not one the kid whole missed. Class? No one, and then I got mono. <laughs> what a bunch of overachievers. Oh, you ruined it for everybody? For everybody. Oh. The get well cards for me didn't come in until about day five because people were upset. <laughs> when I didn't show up, they were like, Jesus. <clears throat> even the nun, even 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 uh, our teacher, eighth grade teacher, I remember called home and was like, is he really, he really is that sick, huh? Because, I mean, you know, you wanted to make the news. You thought maybe you make New York one right. perfect attendance for the year. And I ruined it. Wow. And I still carry that guilt to this day. But so, and I was so sick. And then my mom had a, had a, a gout flare up. So she couldn't walk. So, oh so yeah. And T.T. Jerry was still in prison. So he couldn't help. Right. So, <laughs> so, so we literally had my mom gout. Uh, the only positive. Gout and mom. You had two bangers in bang, the house. Back to back. <laughs> the only positive thing I remember coming from that is this was 13. It was already 1998. Is because of my mom having the gout and me having mono. My dad wanted to do something nice for us because, you know, my, my dad lived on Staten Island. We were in Queens. He got us cable, and we got cable television because I had mono and she had gout. So we That's got hysterical. cable TV. That's I remember being only basic so channel. so funny, dude. And then based off mono and gout, we, and I remember You couldn't even No one could even like Flex on each other No You couldn't complain I got mono She'd be like Well I have gout I have gout And she'd be like Oh my god the gout You're like I have mono <laughs> Yeah yeah So we couldn't I remember couldn't do anything So sick Fever like you can't imagine I remember like Wishing being a little kid Being like Wishing I would die I remember yeah. like It was so bad god. But I remember um, the biggest thing with mono is your spleen. Your spleen enlarges. So I couldn't play basketball for the rest of the school year. I couldn't. Wow. I couldn't. The basketball was over, and I couldn't do it. So I remember. But but. And you're an only. I'm an only child. All right. They almost so, lost me to mono. Yeah. The Epstein Bar. Well, and what are you doing for thirty days of Epstein? You're in I don't remember, dude. I remember. I remember eating Carvel. Shout out Carvel. I remember. I remember eating the farina. I remember my aunt Janet coming Just over, bringing me up, Wendy's. Being locked up that whole time, much like Epstein. Uh, much like Epstein. You're probably, you're probably looking at your sheets like, hmm. yeah, yeah. I was. I, I know. I was. I, that school year, I was canceled. Like Roseanne. Wow. Like Roseanne Barr. Bar, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I. I. I remember getting up one day and I said, I remember get up, getting up one day and I said, Mom, you look like an ape. <laughs> Remember that what? She, that's what Roseanne Barr said when she got canceled. She, said, oh, she yeah. said some woman looked like an ape. Oh, yeah. Well, did she? I think she did. I think what, was she was she on like some type of Percocet or something like that. She something said? crazy. Yeah. Oh, like or was it no? Was it like a Luna Luminez? What's it called? Something what it was. L Lumesta. Yeah. I know What's that that makes you go to sleep. Uh, ambient. Oh yeah, people take that and hallucinate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you ever take so, one? No, but I would. You know. You know. Who, you know who I heard has never taken Ambien, never even had a strawberry. Tom Brady. Why? What about? What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? The strawberry? Never eaten a strawberry in his he, life. He's out with he. he that's what he says. Tom Brady has said he's, publicly, "I've never had a strawberry in my life." And, and but, but an ambient in the same sentence. The ambient part I made up. Oh, okay. <laughs> why is not a strawberry? Said, I don't know. Yeah, you he won me. the Super Bowl though. I know. God bless him. God, congratulations. Shout out, Tom. Tampa Bay Bucks in Tampa. Forty three years old. Remiss if I didn't mention Patrick Mahomes. That hottie with the body. Yeah, he came in second place. Chiefs are really starting to pick it up now. Yeah, come on, Chiefs. We're rooting for you. Yep. Uh, Never had strawberry. You don't think that man, in all his riches and all his glory, has not had a chocolate dipped strawberry? Google has Tom Brady had a strawberry. You're Is he see. a lurch? No, I don't think he's just never had one. And he doesn't eat any food that inflames. <sighs> He's, he had never ingested one simply because the strong smell bothered him. Oh, once he tried the fruit, he wasn't impressed. He could taste a single bite for 30 minutes and he really wasn't a fan. Well, that is a real detailed paragraph about Tom da Brady tasting a strawberry. Yeah, there it is. Why does Tom Brady refuse to eat <laughs> strawberries? Oh, my God. There it is. He won't eat strawberries. Oh, oh, and tomatoes. Brady's eliminated potatoes, eggplant, peppers, and tomatillos from his diet. Jeans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, rams, rams, chicken. You know the song? No. Beans, beans, potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes. You know it. No. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we, I don't know if, uh, I don't want to not be able to monetize. Yeah, we probably All right, it's, it's a great, I'll show it to you. You name it. It's a lady that is a preacher lady who was preaching the gospel and yep. somebody sampled. She's awesome. She's like well known and she gets into it. Shout and out she well was known. like, thank God for the greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ramps. And uh, they put it to a beat. Yeah. And it oh became like a God. viral thing like years ago. It's amazing. Sometimes I used to come out to it on stage. <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 it's fun. <laughs> there it is, baby. All right, babes. All right, Bubba's. Well, listen, here. Here's the good news. At the end of December, from December 26th to the 31st, me and Sally Babes will be co-headlining. So you can come see us. We'll be in Texas, Missouri, and Ohio. Go get the tickets. SalvocanoComedy.com, right? Correct. SalvocanoComedy.com. ChristyComedy.com. Check it out. And if this is out before December. 4th and 5th at West Palm Beach Improv. The 10th in Boston at the Chevalier Theater. And the 11th at the Borgata in Atlantic City, New Jersey. All the, in December. There you go, baby. And, and for me in December's 4th and 5th, Phoenix, Arizona. 17th and 18th, West Palm Beach, uh, Florida. And then uh, Borgata is January 29th. Ninth and Ooh, the Beacon, Beacon Theater February fifth, and we just put the win Las Vegas on nice. sale March twenty fifth. Do the winnie, nice. Baby. And then homeless pimp is just the homeless pimp, and send the pimp will be with me in Boston. And oh, Atlantic he's coming, City. yeah, baby. And, and DeRosa, it's gonna be yes. Oh, yes, God. just that's just, just this just in off the uh, off the presses. DeRosa <laughs> will be on the bill. Wow, look Joey at D, us. Taste buds fame. Taste buds. Oh, Joey Roses, which is open now. Is it open? Lower, uh, it's on Rivington, I believe. Yes. In the east, uh, Lower East Side, Joey Roses. It's a social club sandwich shop. Go check it out. The there it is. Social club. Check it out, baby. Um, this all right, been, Bubs. This has been Hey Babe. Hey, listen, this has been Hey Babe. Smell your feet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One more thing, and it's a big one. We are having our first in-house guest next week. Yes. First ever in-house guest. I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this. Yeah. Huge news for those of you uh, who used to like my old podcast called What Say You, Mr. Brian Quinn will be in the house uh, next week. the guest, everybody. Brian Q. Quinn, everybody. Q, Q, cute. All right, you've been asking for it, now you got it. God bless. There it is. That's the only guest you'll ever get. <laughs> Don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe.